Welcome back to TPA Eighth Geek, and today we have an airport update of Hayden Yampa Valley Airport, or a Steamboat. And this airport is based in Colorado. Uh, and here's a little bit of history of the airport. Yampa Valley Regional Airport, or the IATA HDAN, is in Route County, Colorado, United States. Two miles southeast of Hayden and about 25 miles, 40 kilometers west out of Steamboat Springs, also known as the Emperor Valley Regional Airport. It has the only scheduled passenger flights to northwest Colorado. It also is used by larger business jets that cannot use the smaller Steamboat Springs Airport's Bob Adams Fields. The National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2011-2015 called a primary commercial service airport more than 10,000 employments per year. Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, records say it had 136,600 six, 136, passengers boarding and playments in calendar year of 2008. In 2008, 122,480 in 2009 and 110,044 in 2010. The facilities in Yampa Valley Airport Regional cover 671 acres or 272 HA at an elevation of 6,650. 6,606 feet, or 214 meters. It is an alpha, an asphalt runway of 10, 1028, which is 10,000 feet by 150, 3,048 by 446 meters. In 2018, the airport completed an expansion of the airport that added seventh parking position in 2020. The terminal is being expanded to a seventh gate and expanded ticketed area. Their two projects cost about $10 million. The airport has served seven gates and can handle Boeing 757s, Boeing 737s, Airbus A320s, A320 Neos, Bombardier, CRJ200, Bombardier, CRJ700, Bombardier, CRJ900, Airbus A220s, Ember E135 slash E145s, and Ember E170, E175, E190, and E195. Like other Colorado airport saving ski resorts, there are no jet bridges, only open air stairs. The private ramp can handle up to 30 private jets in the winter months. Larger private jets such as Boeing 737 cannot be Park due to the lack of space and must depart after deplaning passengers. The airport procedures the airport has no air traffic control tower. All aircraft are on CTAF 123.0 and or Unicum and receive air fuel advisories from Unicum during hours of commercial operations. All aircraft receive approach control services from Denver Air Route Traffic Control Center. Gates and aircraft parking slots can be assigned via the Airport Operation Radio Communication Channel. Jet A Fuel is provided by the FBO Fixed Base Operator, Atlantic Aviation. All aircraft departing runway 2A make a right or left turn to avoid the populated area of Hayden. Runway 10 has an instrument landing system, ILS, snow and low ceilings during, weather, thunder, during winter months cause some aircraft to divert to other airports including Denver or National Airport. The airport operations in the year ending in December 31st, 2018, the airport had 11,447 aircraft taxi operations, average of 31 per day, 47% general aviation, 18% scheduled airline, 34% air taxi, and 1% percent military. Air aircraft were 10 based at this airport, four single engine and four multi-engine. The airport has two our ARF trucks in the operations garage that are run by full-time and seasonal firefighters. They operate ARFF Index C from December to March and ARFF Index B from April to November. The ARFF trucks are staffed by firefighters when a scheduled flight is arriving or departing with more than 10 passengers. Local fire department like the North R is Fire Department Protection District and the West Route Fire Protection District can respond to the airport if mutual aid is needed. Transportation can be provided by local taxi, Lyft, Uber, and two shuttle companies with staffed help desks in the baggage came terminal. The airlines and destinations, Alaska Airlines serves seasonal to San Diego in Seattle, Tacoma on the E-175. American Airlines serves Chicago O'Hare in Dallas-Fort Worth seasonally. American Eagle serves Chicago O'Hare seasonally. Delta Airlines serves Atlanta and Minneapolis-St. Paul seasonally. JetBlue serves seasonally to Boston, 
Fort Lauderdale, and New York JFK. Southwest Airlines serves uh, seasonal to Dallas, Lafield, and Denver. United Airlines serves seasonal to Houston Intercontinental, Newark, and Washington, Dulles. United Express operates seasonal uh to Chicago O'Hare, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, and regular year-round service to Denver. History and airline service. Yampa Valley Airport was the first by the regional airline of, by the original Frontier Airline with nine stops to Denver and direct flight from Salt Lake City with two stops. The service ran year-round from late 1966 until early 1982, and Convair 580 prop aircraft were used. Rocky Mountain Airways then operated flight to Denver, but used the Steamboat Springs Airport. Yampa Valley Airport began seeing seasonal ski service during the winter of 1985 or in 1986, when Aspen Airways flew British Aerospace 146 four-engine jets into Denver. During the 1986-1987 season, PSA provided flights to Los Angeles and San Francisco using McDonnell Douglas MD-80 aircraft. American Airlines then began regular seasonal service beginning with the 1987-1988 no, season, and multiple other carriers followed in the years. After that, during the 1990s and 2000s, Yampa Valley Airport also saw service by Continental, Northwest, and TWA. The top destinations for rank number one is Denver, Colorado, carrying 27,130 passengers a year by United. Number two rank destination, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, with 14,640 passengers through American. Number three rank destination, Atlanta, Georgia, with 11,650 passengers through Delta. Number four, Chicago O'Hare, Illinois, with 9,570 with United and American. Number five ranked uh, destination to Houston Intercontinental, Texas, carrying 8,160 passengers through United. Number six, carrying to Los Angeles, California, 3,070 passengers through United. Number seven ranked on the list is Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, carrying 2,860 passengers a year through Delta. Number eight, New York, New Jersey, carrying 2,710 passengers a year through United. Number nine ranked on the list is Boston, Massachusetts, served by JetBlue, carrying 2,620 passengers a year. And then the most lame route out of Steamboat is number 10 to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, serving 2,540 passengers to JetBlue. The largest airlines at Hayden, Colorado from August 2019 to July 2020, ranked number one is American Airlines with 30,830 passengers and share 17.11% of the airport's uh, more traffic. Number two ranked is Delta Airlines with 28,490 passengers and shares 15.81% of the airport's capability. Number three, SkyWest Airlines, carrying 26,480 passengers and shares 14.69% of the airport. And number five is United Airlines, with 25,240 passengers a year, occupying 14.01% of the airport. And then number six, other airlines carrying 31,740 passengers a year, 17 or 17.61% of the airport. All seasonal flights during ski seasons begin in December and end in April. The only year-round scheduled flights to Denver International Airport by SkyWest Flying as United Express. Mainline jets operated by three major airlines during ski seasons include the Airbus A319, Airbus A320, as well as Boeing 737-800, Boeing 717, and Boeing 757-200. There has been accidents and incidents at the Steamboat Airport. At 1.56 p.m. on March 14, 2001, TWA Flight 641 and McDonnell Douglas MD-81 from St. Louis Lambert International Airport with 122 passengers and crew mistakenly landed at the Crave Mofat Airport, CAG, while on approach into Yampa Valley Airport during a snowstorm. Crave Mofat Airport is located approximately 17 miles of West Hayden, Colorado, and its only runway is 725 metros, 5,600 feet, nearly half of the Yampa Valley's airport's 10,000 foot runway 10 slash 28. Though the flight landed safely with no injuries, the aircraft did get stuck in mud while attempting a turn at the end of the runway. Passengers were eventually bussed to the Yampa Valley International Airport. So I'll be doing various requested airports um, throughout a few months, uh, two months, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, because my Lubbock Preston Smith International Airport in 1400 is currently going in under... Um, going a fully completely makeover basically i'm redoing the whole airport making it much neater making weathering areas 
uh, adding very, very interesting stuff. So uh, I really hope you guys are excited for the upcoming times for Lubbock. Uh, and yeah, so if you guys have any airport requests, I did post a uh, post on Instagram. We have a few requests to model airports already. So if you're also wanting to request a model airport, but don't have Instagram or can't do it through Instagram, just leave it in the comments below and I'll consider doing that airport. With that being said, thank you guys so much for listening to all this rambling section, and let's get right into this amazing airport update. If I did forget to mention, this is based off of Friday, January 22nd. So, yeah, let's get right into this airport update. Quite a tight space to get on here with, but right here we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the One World Paint Scheme, November 8, 37, November, November. This aircraft is currently pushing back out of gate 7 for a flight out to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. I do apologize if there is a little bit of shaky camera. This is a handheld view. But right here we have a JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in the FDNY livery. Uh, uh, supporting those uh, NYPD, New York Police Department. This aircraft came in from Fort Lauderdale. He will be returning back out to Boston. JetBlue is not flying here on the 22nd today, but it's flying here tomorrow on the 23rd. Now off to a much better view. We have a beautiful Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Colorado One Paint Scheme. It is Colorado here in Hayden, so why not throw in Colorado One? And also the first flight, uh, inaugural Southwest flight, which was about uh, three weeks ago or two weeks ago, they sent Southwest Colorado One. Uh, they had they have Dallas Love Field in Denver, Colorado. As of right now, in the door uh, in the arrival and departure board, there's only Denver. So this Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Colorado One delivery came in from Denver, and he will be returning back out to Denver. Then right here, getting heavily heavily serviced, we have a United Airlines Airbus A320 in the uh, old delivery. This is November 440 Uniform Alpha. This aircraft's getting baggage loaded up, catering up, passengers on. Pushback tuck is attached and the aircraft will be pushing back and leaving in 45 minutes for a flight out to Newark, New Jersey after arriving in from Houston Intercontinental. Then right here at in the gate number two, we have a United Express E-175 in the brand new Evo Blue livery. This is November 605 Uniform X-Ray, a SkyWest aircraft. This aircraft will be heading out for a flight to Los Angeles, California after arriving in from Denver, Colorado. And then last but not least, in gate number one, we have a beautiful Alaska Airlines uh, or Alaska uh, Horizon E-175. This aircraft is going to be heading out to San Diego after arrival from Seattle. Taxing in right here, waiting, arrived a few minutes early. Uh, we have an American Eagle E-175 in uh, operated by Envoy Air. This aircraft is coming in from Chicago O'Hare. He's going to be taken into gate 7 where the 737-800 is pushing back out of. With that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this airport update for Hayden uh, Yamp Valley Airport or Steamboat Airport. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, turning on the post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new content. I also wanted to mention that this is one of my upcoming airports. That's the reason why I have a terminal done for it. Uh, this is one of my upcoming airports projects that I'll be working on. So I just need to get the board and the time to do the airport. With that being said, my name is TPA Avki. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, the link will be down below. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.